fail. Are you listening? Hit that thing. You get what I'm saying? It ain't just be proactive, go find a hobby. It's talking about you about staying sinless. You get what you about refraining from that sin day after day after day. You know what I'm saying? That's the vision. And that's the teaching that Christ teach you. When you what? Deal amongst the body and deal with fellowship. All right, stay in sinless, like the brother said. Keep reading. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. See that? So your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion. See, lions don't play no games, do they? That beast right there, if it get a hold to you, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. See? It's a wrap. So, brother, what's your name again? El Shaddai. El Shaddai. You should not allow yourself to be what? In camp with the devil or with these or, or with a roaring lion because because guess what the spirits that you entertain you will think that okay i'm just gonna do this you know i'm gonna try to hold myself with that and guess what that sin gonna be controlling you that sin gonna be ruling you see and the scriptures talk about see because satan we we think that we have a, a a hold on satan like we know satan no, don't, the only power we're supposed to know is the most high God, but we're supposed to be what? Not ignorant to Satan's devices, because Satan do what? Trick and deceive, see, and devour like we read right here. So now, Genesis. I'm going to show you a little bit about this, this, this devil called Satan. He's very deceitful. And, and, and trickery. And he'll be in your mind called making you think that the decisions that you're making is okay. See? Right. But they're not okay. All right. So this is uh, Genesis chapter 4 and verse 7. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? So now, this is the most high talking to Cain. Because we all know the story about Cain and Abel, right? Right. Right. So Cain, what did he do to his brother? He killed his own brother. Out of jealousy. Out of jealousy. And jealousy is what? A sin, right? Yeah, that's a sin. And that's against the laws of God. Yeah. So where did, so it didn't just start that. See, that spirit was already present. Yeah. And, and guess what? Satan was already what? Devouring Cain, working in his mind, okay? Because yeah. Cain thought that he had a grip on the things that he was thinking and the things he was doing. And to the most high said, well, you know what? I have somewhat to say to you, Cain. The ways that you're doing is not good. Matter of fact, read that again from the top out. If thou doest well. If thou doest well, meaning if you do the commandments of the most high, because even in the beginning, Cain and Abel had the commandments of the Most High. Yeah. See, Adam had the commandments of the Most High. And we can prove that. Matter of fact, let's prove that. Let's go to 2nd Ezra. Yeah, the Apocrypha, right? 2nd Ezra chapter 3. And we just get to the point. Okay, so let me ask you no, no. We know, we know those brothers, and and we know where they fellowship at. But we are in Walnut Park, off West Cross and the Claxton. Okay, okay. All right. So now, Second Ezra chapter three is over here, and you got it. This is Second Ezra chapter three and five, and gave us a body unto Adam. So now the Most High gave a body unto Adam because because we're the, the Bible says prove all things yeah. because the world thinks that that Adam. He just was winging it, right? Cain and Abel, and the one that the most I gave to Adam, they was just winging it like they didn't have instruction, but they had the commandments, all right? Without soul, which was the workman of thine hands, and did his breathe into him the breath of life. So now, it says that Adam, when he first formed Adam, he said he was without soul, but which was the work of the Most High's hand. And then the Most High breathed into him the breath of life. Let's find out what that breath of life is. Can you read? And he was made living before thee, and thou ledest him into paradise, which thy right hand had planted before ever the earth came forward. And unto him thou gavest commandment. What? Unto him thou gavest what? Commandment to love thy way. See that? So the Most High gave Adam commandments to love his way. Where is this coming from? The King James Version Bible. So for everybody that's listening, we so we supposed to do the commandments of God. Our, our, our forefathers stemming all the way back into Adam had the commandments of the Most High. So this world teaching that the commandments is done away with, that's a lie. And that's of what? Their doctrine of Christianity. Christianity is not in the King James Version Bible. 
Caduce. So now, so now, hold up, brother. Don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Going nowhere. So, so now, we just wanted to prove that point because we dealing with how Satan should not get the upper hand or the advantage over us. See? So we teaching our people on how Satan have many devices and Satan play, a, play against the commandments of God. See? And so you have to know Satan's devices and his trickery. And in order to learn those things, where do you have to go? David said it. That's why I went work into the sanctuary when you read Psalm 73. So now, uh, back to Genesis chapter uh, what, 4. Genesis 4 and 7. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? For so the most high is asking Cain. If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? Do us well based upon what, brother? Do us well upon I'm, I'm sorry? I really didn't hear you. Back in, see, we read it back in Ezra chapter 3. What did Adam have? Which was Cain's father. The, the commandments, the ways of the Most High. So that proved that Adam taught Cain, right? So Cain wasn't supposed to give place to Satan and commit murder, but he did. So the point is, it started somewhere. And it started with like the brother was bringing up. It started with what? The thought process. Yielding. See? Yielding our mind. Yielding our eyes. Yielding and going up into desire. See? So that's so so that's something that you yourself and all our people that's paying attention are not supposed to do. Yield to the what? The ways of the devil according to their lust. But through fellowship you can learn how to overcome and not do those things. Alright? So let's keep reading. And if thou doest not well, sin lying at the door. Uh-oh. So if you don't do well, meaning if you're not doing the commandments, then what are you doing? You're sinning, see? And that's what the brothers were saying also. There's no in-between. It's only good and it's evil. Correct. So if you're not doing good, what are you doing? So we got to accept that listening? truth and turn from that and repent from that, Damn. see? And, and, and we'll get precepts on what? On how to repent. Because that's what we have to do to be accepted into the grace of the Most High. We got to deal with repentance, brother. So likewise, you yourself, you have to deal with repentance, huh? You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you a question. How long have you known the truth? I'm not even going to lie to you. I came into the truth when I was in the third grade. I didn't actually start finding it or research on it until I was 16. That's when my name was given to me. Okay. All right. So I really, literally, the way I move now, I think probably my bad habit is smoking so, so I'm gonna ask you a question. So, so some of the things that's coming out pertaining to everything you guys are talking about, I've read it. I've studied it. I read other books that other people are talking about. Okay. Uh, I read the 1611 version of the King James, the biblical, the, the progenitor, the breakdown of everything. Okay. So, so my reason for asking how long have you known the truth? Because, because knowing the truth is not just okay. I'm familiar yeah, with the book. Walking in the steps up. You gotta walk in the steps up. And that. so, and, and, and so, when you're not, this is this what be going on, like what was going on with Cain, because Cain, Cain knew the truth. Yeah. Cain was taught the truth by his father. He was taught the commandments by his father. But when you do what? Step outside of the truth. Do you truly know the truth? You know it, but you like like you said, you know better you do better. You know exactly. But you choose not to make the choice. You gave it free will. So now. So the Bible says, a good understanding have all that do what? Do the commandments. So so even Cain himself, he fell short, because why? He wasn't doing the commandments. That one uh, so now, let, let, let's finish this, and then I'm going to give it back to you. And unto thee shall be his desire. Oh, do you hear that, brother? No, read, read that from the top. If thou doest not well, sin lie at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire. So unto thee, if you're not doing the ways of the Most High, you're doing the ways of Satan. And what our people don't understand is when we walk in the ways of Satan, it didn't say unto thee shall be your own desire, because that's what we think. We think that we have a grip on Satan or a grip on our, our, our own ways. But that's not true. The Bible said unto thee shall be whose desire? His desire. His desire. So who's really in control? The spirit of Satan is in control. Right. And when the spirit of Satan is in control, you think, okay, I'm just going to limit it to this one thing and I'm going to regather myself. Yeah. Not knowing that anything that come before you, you're going to, what, grab a hold of it that's and start doing it. That's going over his head. He don't understand. Bro, you, nah, I understand. Okay, what it means? What it means? Right. Unto thee shall be his desire. What that means? Romans 6. What I want to do is what I want to do. Okay, so that's 
like that's under like control. But up to these shows, he gets his off. What is that? Okay. Let me whatever. So by you sinning, you run, you walking around, got saved what? Warning you. Right. Warning you. Right. When you're doing good, you still want you. Right, read it again. Huh? And unto thee shall be his desire. Unto you shall be his desire. Why? Wow. I mean, read the place that we go. And if thou doest not well, sin right at the door. Right. So now if you don't do well, young brother, you sin. Now you're trying to teach you got to listen. Right, I'm explaining to you. Not, not trying to be mean, but trying to teach you to watch this. No, I'm listening, but you just stated that I didn't understand it. I told you I understood. Okay, my name is Elsie. I've been doing this for too long. I done read every book y'all are talking about. I done been through all this. I sit and listen to people. I don't talk because I choose not to teach you anymore. Because I still live in sin with you. So now, Elsie, you know the scripture says, good understanding have the man that do the commandments. That's right. So, so if you're not doing the commandments, then what's that understanding at? I stepped back. That don't mean I lost my understanding because it I stepped back. But the scriptures yeah, say that we lose our understanding. Yes. So let's, let me uh, let me finish right. this edification according to Genesis. Are you listening? Okay, so this goes for all of our people. Right. You gonna break Damn. the most high's laws? Read it from the top. If thou doest not well. Now, if you don't do well, yeah. what is well? If you don't follow these laws and obey the voice of the Lord, read. Sin yeah. right at the door. Now, This is talking about, brother. Uh, this is Romans chapter 6 and uh, oh yeah, verse 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey. Know ye not, see, that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey. What did you, the, the last piece of a Genesis say? And thou shalt rule over him. And thou shalt rule over him. When you Give yourself service to whom you obey. His servants ye are to whom ye obey. See that? You shall rule over him. Now you're his servant. It's like you're a minion. Yeah. You're doing whatever he desires for you to do. And that's and that's the spirit that dwells in our people when, when they don't have these laws in their mind. Because the point, uh, get that point back in Hebrews. Oh no, in, in Romans 7. About Christ. Romans 7 and 22. How, how Christ dealt. All right. Christ had what? You got it? Yeah. Romans 7, 21. I find then a law. I find then a law. So what 
helps us overcome sin and not be a servant of Satan, not ruling over Satan. The laws. The laws, the commandments of the Most High. That's what keep, that's what keep our community stable. That's what keep our household stable. That's what keep the young man from going after the whorish woman. And that's what keep our daughters from being whores and going after all the young men. That's what keep our children in subjection to parents. The laws, brother. brother the laws. All right? So now, he read. That when I would do good, evil is present with me. See that? So Satan is always there. Always. See? Satan's desire is for us to do what? Walk in sin. See? But what did Christ say? Now keep going. For I delight in thy law, I delight in the law of God after the inward man. See that, brother? I delight in the law of God after the inward man. So what should the laws be at, brother? Within self. No, within your mind. That's self. That's the inward man, brother, the spirit of your mind. Because guess what? Your heart is just a vessel that pumps blood. It, it, it ain't talking about affections and emotions, right? Talking it's talking about the decisions that you make mentally. And, that, and when Christ came, that's what Christ came to teach us against. All right, decisions that we make mentally and, and, and a lot of decisions that we make as a people be the wrong decisions, see? And that's why we have it so hard in the streets of the city, see? That, that's why we even are overtaken by what? Our oppressors. Because our forefathers made the wrong decision mentally to do what? To either what? Keep the commandments of the Most High or what? Follow sin. They chose to follow sin. Therefore, look at where we are today. So when Christ came and walked the earth, he overcame sin in his mind. And every time Satan came to him with a temptation, he said, it is written again. See, let's get that in Matthew. He said, it is written again. What's written again? The law, statutes, and commandments. See? So if you don't have the what? The scriptures mentally, if you don't study the word of the Most High and come into the fellowship of the Most High to learn about the scriptures, where, how's it going to be in your mind? It won't. So then when the desire comes to what? To, to, to commit sin or to smoke or to commit fornication? What? So when that desire comes, guess what? You're going to fall prey to it. See? So, so real quick, to finish that point, so when it says, and thou shalt rule over him, right? Well, how, how you rule? How would a man rule over sin? Right, because it says, it says, and unto thee shall be his desire. So Satan is going to desire you. And then it says, and thou shalt rule over him. How would a man or woman rule over Satan? He can. It means the same way that a man rules over his woman. See, the scriptures say when a man put a hedge, right? Because a lot of niggas now, see my business, a lot of men now, they use work. When a man has a woman, he puts a, he builds a hedge around her, right? He protects her, right? Oh, yeah. So that's the same way that we do that. Our people in sin do what Satan. They protect sin. That's, they protect right. Satan. That's why you get all the excuses. Right. That's why you get the man saying he can't be perfect because Satan, that's dwelling inside of him, now he's protecting Satan. He's built a dwelling place for Satan, and he ain't letting Satan go. The same way that a man protect this woman. So that's how we rule over, that's how men rule over Satan. They build a hedge where Satan ain't going nowhere. The same way your woman ain't going nowhere, Satan ain't going nowhere. That's why That's why you ain't stop smoking. Yeah. Right. And any other sin. Are you listening? Because you protect the hedge. And the reason yeah. is because, let me, let me explain to you how. You said, well, I used to smoke a pack a day. Now I only smoke a few a day. Then you said, well, what about the tobacco and how it's supposed to be used? Then you said, it, then you said, It, it didn't say how to ask. use it, right? You didn't say that, right? Well, I stated that, but it doesn't say how to use it. It doesn't say in the form of message you do this and this and this. And so you're proving the brother's point. Right. Right. Listen, because you're making excuses about it. I'm not making an excuse for myself because I know what I'm doing. I'm just stating questions that you're going to be asked. Are you, Those are, are you primary sure? questions that somebody's going to ask you. Like, okay, yeah, like, oh, oh, this, this. So a lot this, of times, this, this, this. A lot of times when we always worry about everybody else, the Most High is dealing with, what's your name again, brother? My name is El Shaddai. El Shaddai. The Most High is worried about El Shaddai, not everybody else, not the many questions that everybody asks. We want you to keep the commandments. You understand me? And by me following, hold on, let me get from you. By me not stating and reteaching, treating myself, and walking back through the darkness, but I still know the light. Like I said yesterday, I could have prayed. First John chapter 2. And the last verse. But the man in me, knowing the devil's talking, like he had read Yaki.